we might all look more or less the same, but there are certain rare body features that few people across the globe have. What are they? From extra body parts to heightened senses, these are some of the rarest body features found in the world. Most people have 12 pairs of rib bones, equaling 24 total ribs. However, there's a chance that some people actually have 25 ribs. One in 200 people have a rare body feature that's called the cervical rib. According to an article from the Department of Surgery at New York's Flushing Hospital, a cervical rib is present at birth and it forms above the first rib, growing at the base of the neck, just above the collarbone. You can have a cervical rib on the right, left, or both sides. It's possible you have one and don't even know it. I don't believe you. This is because this extra rib doesn't always form completely and may just be, quote, a thin strand of tissue fibers that wouldn't even be present on an X-ray. It may sound concerning, but cervical ribs are usually no big deal. If the rib puts pressure on blood vessels and nerves, a condition called thoracic outlet syndrome, it can be painful. Thankfully, it's treatable. You probably don't think twice before filling out your eye color on a form, but this seemingly simple question becomes a lot more complicated for someone with heterochromia, a rare body feature. Derived from the ancient Greek words heteros, meaning different, and chroma, meaning color, a person or animal with heterochromia has a difference in eye color. Three types of this condition are known to exist, complete, central, and partial. A person with complete heterochromia, like Alice Eve, has two different colored eyes, like one brown eye and one blue eye. Two different colors in the same iris is considered central heterochromia, which Paris Hilton has. Lastly, partial heterochromia means just a part of the iris is a different color from the rest. Kate Bosworth has this one. Heterochromia is most often genetic, but it can also occur as a result from various medical syndromes or even an eye injury. The condition, whether acquired or genetic, is extremely rare. In the United States, fewer than 200,000 people have it. Natural red hair is rarer than you think. In Red, A History of the Redhead, Jackie Collis Harvey revealed that, worldwide, it occurs in only 2% of the population, although it is slightly more common in Northern and Western Europe, or in those with that ancestry. Red hair is recessive, Harvey explained, writing, in the great genetic card game, the shuffling of the deck that has made us all, red hair is the two of clubs. It is trumped by every other card in the pack. In order to have a child with this hair color, both parents need to possess the gene. In the United States, it may not seem like red hair is all that unusual. However, that may be because a disproportionate amount of redheads are featured in American advertisements. While redheads only make up a tiny part of the population, one study found that 30% of ads feature the hair color. Plus, when you factor in people who've dyed their hair red, you can see how we've all been bamboozled into thinking this rare body feature is commonplace. Only 0.6% of the American population has the AB negative blood type, but that isn't even the rarest type in the world. According to the Australian Academy of Science, Rh null, blood that entirely lacks Rh antigens, is much rarer. In 1961, an indigenous Australian became the first person discovered to have the blood type. Since then, only about 40 additional people have been identified as having the blood type making it a truly rare body feature, so rare that there are only nine active donors. Because Rh null is compatible with other rare blood types in the Rh family, researchers and doctors have recognized its value. Some scientists have even called it golden blood. Although blood donors are kept anonymous, some scientists have attempted to locate Rh null donors to ask them for their blood directly. Golden blood indeed. While many Americans may be trying to keep their cholesterol under control, some will never have to worry about it. Those folks have a mutation of the PCSK9 gene. The U.S. National Library of Medicine explains, this gene provides instructions for making a protein that helps regulate the amount of cholesterol in the bloodstream. When this gene is mutated in a particular way, it keeps bad cholesterol very low. When one woman realized she possessed the rare body feature that renders her incapable of developing high cholesterol, she said she really didn't understand it. She later told Nature.com, Now I'm watching ads on TV for cholesterol-lowering drugs, and it's like, wow, I don't have that problem. According to the New York Times, only one other person has a, quote, double dose of the mutation, one that was inherited from both parents. However, 2.5% of black people have since been found to have a slightly mutated PCSK9 gene, and 3.2% of white people have a slightly singly mutated single gene. Both of these abnormalities help to regulate cholesterol, albeit not as effectively as a double mutation. Our ability to see color is all thanks to cells in our eyes called cones. Typically, people have three types of cones to help them communicate with the brain and therefore see colors. However, researchers believe there's a percentage of people called tetrachromats who actually have four cones. These people would be able to see 100 million different colors. Neuroscientist Gabrielle Jordan of Newcastle University spent years searching for tetrachromats and, in 2010, finally found someone who fit the bill. In subsequent years, more people, interestingly all women, were discovered to see colors that many of us are unable to decipher. The condition may, in fact, be unique to women. Superior color vision sounds pretty magical, but it's not always a fun experience. 
Tetrachromat Conchetta Antico, admitted to BBC Future, the grocery store is a nightmare. It's like a trash pile of color coming in at every angle. Despite seeing so many colors, Antico admitted that white is her favorite color because, quote, it is so peaceful and restful for her eyes. With magnetic false lashes, we can all have lush, layered eyelashes. People with dystagiasis, though, already have this. The rare body feature dystagiasis is, according to the American Academy of Ophthalmology, a condition in which an extra row of eyelashes emerges from the ducts of meibomian glands. It results from a genetic mutation of the FOXC2 gene. In fact, Elizabeth Taylor had this mutation to thank for her voluminous lashes. In the biography Elizabeth by J. Randy Terraborelli, Taylor's mother took the diagnosis in stride, saying, quote, Well, now that doesn't sound so terrible at all. Before you get too jealous of people with this rare double row of lashes, though, you should know it comes with a rather unattractive issue. Oh, there's just one small problem. Aaron Fay, an ophthalmic plastic surgeon at Massachusetts Eye and Ear Infirmary in Boston, says that a hair grows where there is supposed to be an oil gland on what's considered the wet part of the eyelid. This can cause tearing, eye irritation, and in some cases negatively impact a person's vision. Maybe this condition isn't such a gift after all. That sucks. Science has shown that genetics play a role even in taste buds. Only about 25% of the population can be categorized as what researcher Linda Bartoshuk dubbed super tasters. These super tasters have more visible taste papillae, tiny dots on the tongue, than non tasters. This rare body feature makes them more sensitive to the taste of certain foods, like those that are bitter, sweet, or salty. Because super tasters also have more pain receptors than non tasters, they generally do not like spicy food. Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball! They're also less likely to smoke and don't typically like alcohol. Unfortunately, though, they also don't tend to like vegetables. This is because veggies often have a bitter taste. Like you? Who the hell said I got to like you? Nevertheless, the nutrition source explained that super tasters, especially those who are women, quote, tend to have superior cardiovascular profiles and a lower BMI. Considering super tasters also don't love sweet and fatty foods, these things may very well be linked. Chances are you have an any belly button. Believe it or not, the science of belly buttons was actually studied by real human people. Yuri Holser, a postdoctoral research assistant, along with a group of scientists at North Carolina State University, founded the Belly Button Biodiversity Project and studied belly buttons. Of all the participants who took part, only 4% reported having an Audi. Barry Epley, an Indiana-based plastic surgeon, told Everyday Health that several things, from the belly button itself to the fat beneath it, determine which kind of belly button you'll end up with. Although this means you don't get to choose between an innie and Audi, some have turned to plastic surgery to get their, quote, ideal belly button. Richard Chafu, president of the San Diego Plastic Surgery Society and chief of plastic surgery at Scripps Memorial Hospital, also told Everyday Health, the popularity of low-rise jeans and midriff tops has led to an enormous increase in the number of requests for belly button revision surgery in the past few years. Most of the people opting for cosmetic belly button revision surgeries or umbilicoplasties go from Audis to Innies. Apparently, there are people who don't have to stress over their calcium intake. <laughs> people with a mutation in the LRP5 gene have high bone density and, as such, aren't at risk of developing osteoporosis. According to a study published in the New England Journal of Medicine, the very few people identified as having the mutation experienced only one negative symptom – difficulty staying afloat while swimming. While the initial study of the mutation focused on an especially dense family from Connecticut, it wasn't long before scientists discovered other extended families with the same genetic mutation. Richard P. Lifton, chair of the Department of Genetics, told Yale Medicine magazine, If there are living counterparts to the hero in Unbreakable, who is in a terrible train wreck and walks away without a single broken bone, they're members of this family. They have extraordinarily dense bones and there is no history of fractures. These people have about the strongest bones on the entire planet. Their bones are so strong, in fact, that scientists began attempting to create a drug similar to the mutation in an effort to treat and even prevent osteoporosis. Wisdom teeth may have once been important, but these days they're kind of just a pain. Southern Illinois University's Robert Coruccini told new scientists that when third molars, aka wisdom teeth, try to break through the gums, they often run out of space. This can lead to them becoming impacted. With our mouths unable to solve the issue of overcrowding themselves, we turn to oral surgeons to rip those wise teeth out. While not everyone will need extractions, an estimated 5 million people will go through the surgery each year. Some opt to get their third molars taken out before they have time to become a problem. Ray White, an oral surgeon at the University of North Carolina, told Vox, You might not have symptoms now, but you can't assume it's going to be that way for the rest of your life. Interestingly, though, there are people that won't need to think twice about their wisdom teeth. Why? Simply because they don't have them. An estimated 35% of the population lack wisdom teeth altogether, making it a rare body feature or lack thereof. Now that makes us jealous and probably makes dentists a little sad.
Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more videos from the list about human oddities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.